All right. Welcome back to the Board Drill Podcast. As always, I'm Kyle. I'm here with Matt. And we have Coach Smothers from Toombs County. He is back. We're going to talk a little bit of uh, his base 3-4. And we're going to start simple, right, Coach, and start with some 3-4 against the spread. And then we're going to kind of expand to, I wouldn't call them exotic formations, but a lot of wing T, maybe some single wing or double tight, things of that nature that you see down there at the 2A level in Georgia. And so, Coach, uh, I know you got some film with us. If you're listening on YouTube, I apologize. We're going to do our best to describe film for you. Um, but past that, we're, we're going to talk a little 3-4. Um, if you're struggling to, to listen to it, why don't you hop on YouTube and uh, while you're on YouTube, why don't you go ahead and like and subscribe? So <laughs> go ahead and do that for us. So, Coach, I'm going to hand it over to you. I know you're going to share your screen. You can go ahead and start talking to us about your 3-4 defense. All right. So <clears throat> kind of give you a, a quick um, summary of what we are defensively. Uh, we're a true boundary field reduction team. Um, so what that means is, is we're going to reduce to the boundary if it's on the hash. Um, we're going to walk up that outside linebacker to that side, or he's going to be the edge player um, to that side. And we're, we're going to slant, quote unquote, slant uh, away from him if we're just lining up in our base stuff. Um, so here, you know, I just kind of pulled up a base spread look of what we had last year. So, you know, we got three down, our two ends, um, you know, we, one's a B gap player, one's a C gap player, essentially. Uh, in our base stuff. Um, so if, you, if you're to the strong side, he's going to be uh, kind of a charge guy. Kind of, We have different techniques that we teach for that, but our base stuff, he's just going to be charging B gap. Our nose is going to go away from where the reduction is to the A gap. And then our opposite end, our weekend, is, is essentially just going to board drill the tackle and rip off and play C. Um, so we, you know, we have two outside linebackers. One of them is a more of a defensive end type but he still has to be able to play in space. Um, that's that's our reduction guy. And then to the field, some of our other one is, we call him our dog. You've heard Joker, Nickel. Um, people call it a variety of things. But he um, he's our field guy. So he's always going to be to the most receivers or to the field. Um, so in, in this look right here, you know, we got a trips look. We're a match quarters team in the secondary. Um, we we sold our soul to that last year. We pretty much everything we do is based <laughs> out of that. Um, I did I ran that at Deltona a lot, and um, it, it's it's very successful, especially if you got dudes. Um, yeah, and you know we have a pretty good pretty good set of players right now. Um, and when you know I'll say this first, you know watching the film, I'll just tell you right now, there's never going to be a perfect play, right? I'm not. I didn't. I didn't create this football I, I, everything in football was stolen from somebody else um so you know my guys are going to screw up on some of these and you know I, there's times where i screw up as a coach but <laughs> in the end you know we're gonna you know line up and do it again and um so just our base stuff here three four we got two inside backers our mike and our will our mike is our b to scrape player uh, he his his job essentially is, is going to be B to scrape, and then our will is going to be a majority A gap player. Um, he's a, he a lot of time is our blitzer. If we're blitzing from the interior, um, he's going to be that guy that we send. We don't blitz our mic very much. To be honest, last year we didn't we didn't blitz much at all. Um, yeah, we we were like I we talked in the previous. I you know I came in in the summer and or in the spring last year, and we kind of were piecing everything together, and we had a lot. We had two brand new inside linebackers. Uh, we started three freshmen last year, believe it or not, uh, which is a good and a bad thing. It's uh, a lot on varsity. It's unbelievable. I yeah. I'd never played more than one freshman at a time, and we walked out there with three last year. But they are very good football players. Uh, and you know, Georgia, these kids have been lifting weights, and they're physically mature enough to handle it. Um, so you know, we fortunately we have you know really good players in the secondary, guys that can run, play the ball in the air. Um, got a kid that's at, at safety right now. It's, you know, pretty highly recruited kid. So, um, we'll, um, I'll just kind of slow motion this, as you can see here, like I said before, you're getting, a, you're getting a slant away from the, the boundary. So as we get to B gap our our strong ends to B gap, our nose is in a, and our <clears throat> weak side end is board drilling that tackle. So right now he's doing, he's done his job. 
he's done his job here. He's board drilled that tackle. Now that makes the line the alignment for the linebacker really easy. I'm B to scrape, right? So he's B gap right now. And if I'm gonna show you the end zone view, but you can see it. He he's there's nobody there. Yeah, it's open B right now. Yeah. <clears throat> now on the perimeter, my dog, our space linebacker, our nickel, his job is to play outside of two on any bubble. So he's going to attack two on the outside pad of him. So as he, he does a really good job here, if they were to throw the bubble, right, we're in good shape. We're in good shape. He's able to, he blowing him up. He over rip off, make a play. Our corner had already seen the ball be tackled. So that's why he's already heading to the ball. But he, you know, quarters match, true quarters match. He's reading two. These two guys are reading two, two to one. Our backside safety's poaching three. That's how we teach yep. him. So he's, he's, over the ball, if it's on the hash, he's poaching three. Anything vertical, his rule is three doesn't cross my face. Um, so nothing real tricky there. It's, you know, true match quarters. Backside, he's on an island. Um, he's got some help, if it's quick game, by that outside linebacker to the reduction side if we're not blitzing him. But if we're blitzing, you know, if we're – you don't – we don't send three very often. We like to send four. Um, yeah. And when, when we do that, he's our fourth guy majority of the time. So I'll just show you again. Fitz makes the play. Now your two, uh, whatever you want to call them, your tackle on your end. Okay, yeah. never mind. This answers it. They're both in forties. Yep. Um, it appears. Okay. Forward. I was going to ask that. You flip yep. right as I go to ask that. Yep. You flip to the yep. end zone camera, and I'm like, yep. okay, they're forties. So we play true fours. Now there's obviously times where um, we'll get in some mint stuff, and we'll yep. play some four eyes. Um, if teams are spreading us out or if we just want to do something different, um, it's, it's simple adjustment. I'm going to show some of these other clips and you're going to be like, wait, you're not a three, four team. Cause we line up in a wholly different look, but, um, so here's a good look at it. Nose. They're essentially, all these guys are going to flat step towards the ball first. All right. So their inside foot's going to flat step towards the ball. You got a board drill by the week and a, and a charge by the end. So he's in B gap. He's in A gap. He's in C gap. That's a great look right here um, of how to defensive line teach tape for us. Uh, we like him to use our hands a little bit more. They're kind of getting chest to chest. We don't like that. But um, now look at the look at the gaps. They're clean, right? Yeah. You can see the, the clean gap for the wheel in A gap and the clean gap for B or the mic in B. So as they fit, tackle for loss. And our, our smash here, our, our down outside backer, he is a surf player. So here he's C gap. So he's looking for anything to bend back or quarterback pool. So yeah. in this situation, he'd be quarterback player. It's a good play here. I'll just go to the end zone here. <clears throat> so now, now we get it. If you want to get a few of our fans that I was talking about, that's every week. <laughs> That's a, it doesn't matter who we're playing, bro. It doesn't matter who we're playing. Um, but right here, same look. Now they're empty. All right, so you see us trying to make a check here, sideline. We're going to – sometimes we check four. We, we got different looks for it. But um, same situation this time. I talked – I said it before. Our reduction backer, We that's our blitz guy, right? That's a guy we like to blitz. So here – we we send a blitz where we're gonna we're gonna long stick the end and get him an A gap. And now that gives him a two way go. Our outside backer. So as he's rushing, obviously this is a run play, but if it was a pass, he he would have the, the right of way to go inside or outside that tackle. Um and we, we try to give that guy opportunities to make plays because he's gonna be he's only a sophomore. He's he's a heck of a ball player, man. Um, so it, that's one of the most pos important positions on our field for us Yeah, is outside backer. We actually <clears throat> assign, we have a coach that just coaches outside backers. Um, cause yeah. we, that's how important it was. We couldn't have just a linebacker coach. You know, we have inside backers and we have outside, but, um, I'll just let it run full speed and then I'll slow it down. Matt's Q counter. In case you're wondering. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I saw. Or does he hand it off here? Never mind. Am I wrong? No, it's Q counter. He just okay. fakes the he fakes the bubble here, and then he tries to run it, and then you see my outside backer come down, spill it, 
Yeah, it gets slightly choppy on our end, but that's okay. all it always is in the video stuff. So yeah. So he's gonna take on what we teach. <clears throat> we don't teach to wrong arm it. You know, we don't teach keep outside arm free. We keep we teach the splat technique. So with this guy, as he comes down the line, we're essentially trying to go screw to screw with whoever's pulling at him and absolutely yep. just blow him up and then be a football player. Make a play. Yeah, we used to call that dent. dent? Yep. <laughs> yep. I've heard it. I've heard it different. Different yeah, we, we, we've always got, I mean, and everybody's got their own little nuances. And I kind of learned this from some of the guys at college level is we told them to put, put your face mask on the guy's inside collarbone and try to snap it. Yeah. Is what That's I it. always heard for Dent. I was like, I kind of like that one, right? Like break his collarbone. It's never happened, but I'll be super impressed if it ever does. All right. So this is last, I'll show you last look of base again. All right. So now it's, we're slanting from the, from the boundary again. Same thing. Nose is in A. Got B gap taken care of. We got a, Good example of a board drill here with the, yep. the weekend. He's doing a really good job here of using his hands. He's getting held like crazy, but he's fighting. And now he's making that path for that linebacker clear as day. Makes life really easy for those guys, man. When our defensive line is doing their job now, this 79, first team all state offensive lineman, first team all state defensive lineman. So he's he's really good. So he sucks. Yeah, he's he's, he's <laughs> I call him Shrek. That's his name. Oh, yeah, he's six six two two seventy, and he is just a man. He's just you can't even shake his hand without hurting your hand. You know what I mean? What a nickname there, Matt Shrek. Yeah, yeah that's my guy. But he's he's a dude, and he makes life easy for them. Um, now I'm gonna stop sharing for a second. I'm gonna pull up, um, start getting into our exotic looks real quick. Okay, wing T, single wing. Yeah, the crap that you yep. see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, love it. it. It gets interesting. So, so that was our base stuff. Um, you know, I'll be honest with you. We we see spread probably twenty five percent of the time here. Yeah. Um, so this is more what we see. Did it work? No. There you go. I don't see it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. There we go. Yep. So this is against Pierce County, the state champ in two way. Um, they're in our region. They have a quarterback and they get in double tight. My, my head coach, coach real but, quick. I don't mean to interrupt you. Can you full yep. screen that? Yep. My bad. So my head yeah, you're coach fine. calls this the, um, did not full screen. Yep. Well, it was. Yeah, it is. Nope. One more time. Oh. oh well that works all right so my head coach calls this the devil's formation uh, <laughs> it's it's <laughs> devil's offense whatever you want to call it it is double tight three foot splits empty with an h back or two h backs depending on what they want with a all state tight end and an all-state quarterback he threw for 2000 and ran for 2000 That's matt's writing down ideas right now coach i'm telling you write it down when if i ever call offense again this will be in the playbook because <laughs> it is not easy to stop so against them we we lined up in a in a lot of different formations uh we tried to give them a lot of different looks um this was just one of them so we we just call it eagle but <clears throat> it's essentially a nose and two threes right and we put our outside backers, now they're hit up on those tight ends, and they're yeah. essentially playing them man-to-man. -man. So if they were to release on a, on a pop pass, they got them. Um, it's, it's something that frees up C-gap for us. So we had safety that really good at, at fitting, two of them. And uh, this is a good look right here of, of him filling that C-gap. So these guys are just going to play my, – my ends are going to play B-gap. My nose is going to just board drill the center with his eyes in the backfield and look for flow. Yeah. So if he sees flow left, he's flowing left. Um, it's almost a guessing game with the nose, to be honest. Um, you really just – because it's so it happens so fast. All they run is duo and ISO Q. It's, it's crazy. I was going to ask. It's, mm. like, it's literally like Army, Navy, triple option, just in modern form. They, the, the quarterback ran the ball 53 times in the state championship. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So it, they just they just 
pound it in there, pound it in there, pound it in there, and eventually they'll throw a pop pass here and there. But this year they were a little more dynamic. They'd get in trips and then they'd throw a bubble out there. They'd throw vertical. <laughs> it was it was it was a long week of game planning. I'll tell you that. Yeah. But so you get nose and two threes. So those threes are going to play B gap. So if you're getting a down by the tackle, you're going to fight pressure with pressure. And you're going to maintain B gap. 48, I can tell you right now, he ain't going to fight it. He's getting washed right now just by his, <laughs> just by his first step. Yeah. So he want, you want him to flat step. That, that guard is gone, so you should feel that pressure by the tackle and you square up and sit at the Hills offensive line and B gap. Now my linebacker, his job, if we're in this, this coverage right here, he's got this H back. So his job is to dislocate the hip of that H back on ISO. He comes in a little bit high. He's a freshman. He's going to be a really good player. He's just not quite there yet at this point. But he feels it, but it's a pretty good job. And now look at C-gap. Yeah. C-gap. Now, the best part about playing this defense is it allows your safeties. If you have safeties that are good at what they do and fit in the run, it gives you opportunities to get them involved. So now he fills C-gap, and we got to tackle for loss. It's also, you know, coach, and another point I'm looking at here, it's it's really tough to get cracked when your safety fills C gap at the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I mean, that's a testament to the safety filling quickly, but yep. when you're playing those safeties really hard here because you are manned up on the tight ends, mm -hmm. that safety is able to really just go and not get cracked. So that's, that's a that's another that's nice piece we, to it. That's why we were doing that with these yeah. linebackers. You know, we drew it up a million different ways, but we had a feeling that this guy was going to struggle. This this outside linebacker was going to struggle with this tight end because he's a senior, all state kid, six two, two twenty, you know, power lifting guy. Like our guy's six one, one eighty last year at this point. Yeah. He's almost two hundred now, but he was one hundred eighty pounds back then. So we kind of knew we were going to have to do something to get get help. Uh, and you can see he kind of <clears throat> gets whooped here. He's fighting, but <clears throat> he's getting whooped. So what they do is they want to get your corners in the run fit, right? Yeah, so they want they want to try to crack that safety as you can see. So, crack replace our corner doesn't do a good job here at all. He should already be downhill, downhill, right? Yeah. But our safety makes up for it because if he gets out there, we're in trouble. Because our corner, like I said at the beginning of this, there's going to be plays where I didn't create football. I'm not master, and our kids make mistakes. We coach high school kids, and they make mistakes. But Matt, <clears> everybody's <throat> always picking on the corners, man. Oh, you love to run against a corner. Yep. Nothing better. I mean, that's Matt, Matt, I'd have squared you up when you pulled. I'd have knocked you right down. <laughs> For those of you listening, I would not have squared Matt up, and I would not <laughs> knock him down. I wouldn't have done it then. And I, I wouldn't be able to do it now either. So, <laughs> so here's another look. Um, and this, this is something that I can guarantee you will be showing a little bit more as these next years progress, especially with this kid right here at Strong Safety. Um, he played last year at 155 pounds, and uh, he was our hit man of the year. Um, and that's a, that's an, <laughs> that's an and he's a freshman. Um, that's a, that's an award we take uh, pretty serious. Every week we have a hit man of the week, and this guy we, we had. I guess they made a rule before I got here that nobody can get it twice in the season until the playoffs. And I said that's ridiculous, but whatever. Um, so if if he could get it, he would have won it about four or five times this year. <laughs> I mean, he like if I had more time, you'd you'd be recruiting him. But he uh, so this is this basically gets us in our four four look. Um, we're playing Appling County here, really good football team. Um, this was the other team in our region that was ranked. Uh, at one point, we were one, two, and three. We win this game by three. We lost the last game I showed you by three. Um, so they like this tight end trips look. <clears throat> so we were, and they love the inside zone read with the quarterback. Um, they had a stud quarterback, and they they'd run downhill. It's basically duo. They're just gonna they're just gonna mash with their 280 pound lineman that they got. So we just found a way to insert our safety into the box. So now we're still playing match over here coverage wise. Our safety and corner essentially are you know two v two over here. Um, and a rule we we teach them is if if they feel comfortable with it, they can lock it, and it just becomes man to man, right? Um, or if, if we play true match or we can play what we call picket fence, which is just bracket. Yeah. Uh, if they bunch, that's our three options. Every time they come to the line, I try to, I try to give kids freedom to play. Cause I think if you put them in a box 
they're going to think and they're not going to play. Um, so I think it's important that you give guys versatility and this, this gave them, you know, three, they have three options. So now we put our two linebackers on the same side. So, gotcha. so we, we make a call, puts those guys to the same side. So now they, we have help over here if they throw the bubble. Um, but now we're still taking care of gap. We're still gap sound against inside run. And our outside linebacker would take the tight end man to man. That's I was going to ask that next. Yep. I said, are you still choking so, them with the down yep. lineman or what yep. are you doing? Not, not the down one. It'd yep. be the, yeah. The yeah. Off. yeah. So gotcha. if we make this call, it's an automatic, it's an automatic call. So he hears that he knows he's got three. So if gotcha. we're in trips, if we played this against trips, he'd have number three. And gotcha. that would be a lock across the board. It'd be basically cover zero, essentially. So we bring him in the fit. And we're gap sound. We got every gap taken care of. Looks a lot like Fox there, Matt. Yep. Looks a lot yep. like Fox. That's, I've heard it called that too. Oh, yeah, I used to run it all the time. We we would just like you're talking about. And I know trips is a little different, but we would run like palms or you know two yep. read mm-hmm. to the field into the boundary. We would lock it and bring a safety, or lock it and bring the corner. Yep, and we did that, Coach. I I ran that 15 times a game. Yep, it's it's all four four stuff, man. I mean, that's that's the base, yeah. and it's simple. It's so simple, so simple. So we're gonna we're gonna major in our base stuff, but we're gonna minor in some of this going forward for sure. So you can see here, so our strength call would be to the tight end. If we're, I told you before, we're boundary boundary field, but tight end trumps all for us. So <laughs> tight end trumps all. But the, this linebacker is essentially a defensive end at this point. Yeah. So now his job is to squeeze, squeeze. He doesn't. He could do a little better job, but he's playing D gap. But he does a good job getting our hands on at least and surfing down the line and making the play. Because now you have help with the quarterback here, right? Because yeah. you have the you have the other outside backer there. If he does pull it, you have one on each. You should have one on each edge. This guy's doing a horrible job of going inside. He shouldn't be going there. But right here, we're in good shape if quarterback pulls the ball. Six is sitting right there. Yeah. But that outside linebacker ends up making the play. He squeezes, gets down the line, makes the play. All right, just back to the eagle stuff again. I can show you the tight view. This is against the devil's formation again. Oh devil's yeah, I need to him. slow it down. Sorry. So threes again. He does way better job of fighting pressure with pressure here. You see forty-eight. Yeah. That to me, that's the biggest difference when we get in this look. You have to be able to fight the down block. Mike comes in there high, gets his head taken off. Could be lower, but now look at the alley it creates for our safety. He's downhill in a hurry. Ball, 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 ball. He's downhill in a hurry. You get this fumble? We did. That was the opening drive. They went about eight plays, 80 yards down our throat. (laughs) And then, uh, but they didn't score, coach. Did not score. We gave up that night, I think. Uh, I'm going to say like, over 400 yards of offense, but 17 points. Yep. Shut them out in the second half. Only team to do that this season. Still didn't come out with a win. But anyway, <laughs> one of those nights. All right. Now, another formation. Here we go. Back to the Jeez. South Georgia football. Oh, my gosh. Old power T. All right. Don't see this very often. Um, but we, this team, this is what they do. This, they literally, this is, they don't come out of this formation. They'll maybe get in um, pro twins. That's about it. So in this, now what we call it's it's Rhino stack or it's just all it is, you're putting twos and you're putting uh fours. Twos and fours. So now our outside backer that was the reduction guy, he essentially becomes a defensive end. All right. So our yeah. we have an end and a two, a nose and a two, an end and a four, and your outside backer and a four. And now we stacked our backers. So our mic. He's over the ball at six yards. We put him at depth so he can see ball. All he's looking at is the fullback. Fullback goes right, he goes left. Fullback goes left, he goes right. He's yeah. he's fitting it. He is his job is to tackle trap essentially, because they they do not account for him in trap. If you have a guy in a two and a guy in a two, you cannot get to that stack backer if you're doing it right. And you have you have a guy on a four, so you got the tackle taken care of. You got the guard taken care of. 
got the guard and the tackle. So all that leaves the center and in, in trap. You're not going to send the center to the mic back. It's very true, Coach. And a lot of, uh, you know, we used to run the wing T, and that was the worst thing we'd ever see was stacking mm-hmm. the guards and having linebackers stack behind them. And, and it just creates issues with the gap down backer scheme yep. uh, it, to get to guys. And it runs them free, right? It, it, it keeps them, keeps guys off of them. So these stack backers, if this was double slot, they'd have two wings and we could be in the same look. So yeah. these these linebackers essentially are key in these wings. So if it's sweep this way, if it's sweep away from me, my eyes snap to fullback or trap. Motion away, snap to fullback. So, uh, sweep action goes away, snap to fullback. And then we walk both of our safeties down, and they are playing the edge. So it's it's our bracket. Bracket oh, oh, football in a phone booth, baby. Football in a phone booth. We did a really good job of stopping this. And then in the fourth quarter, he got it loose a couple of times. But I think this kid ran for like 1,800 yards his junior year. And then this year he was all state again. And we held him under 100 yards. Um, and they got tight splits. I'm talking, <laughs> I mean, they are stepping is... on shoelaces, brother. Yeah. Stepping on shoelaces. Crazy. Yeah, it's nuts. All right. And so. Back to the Devils formation. We um, this was another look. So we talked about the eagle look where we'd be in nose and two threes. All right, now we're gonna be in nose and two threes, and we're just gonna send those guys. We give an out call to those ends. What the out call is is they're just instead of playing a three, now they're shooting hands to the tackle. Yeah, we we're they were killing us. We we're we we're getting washed. And they were getting on linebackers. So it was like we were lose-lose. Um, so we we had this in. We didn't practice it, but maybe a handful of times during the week. But it was just one of those things where you got to have it in in case, just in case. You never know. Um, we've all been there, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so we got about two drives in, and they're gutting us. And we're like, man, we, we got to get some help for these linebackers. So we send them out. So now you can see. He's gone out, linebacker fills, and now you have your outside linebacker playing that tight end and playing D-gap. Your corner's compressed, playing the crack, replace, and we got every gap taken care of. And now it, what it does is it frees up your mic. So watch our – this, and so we're no longer stack. All right, this, this takes us out of our stack loop. We play base, but what we do is we walk that safety that I told you about that loves the break face mask. We line him up essentially as your stack backer now. Yeah. Now he is locked on this H back. So he's looking at this H back. If it's ISO, if it's sweep, he's gone. So now if in this linebacker, the wheel linebacker is on this H back. So if this H back comes through, he he's free to go. And now that we've taken the tackles out of the play, it helps that backside linebacker get to the ball. So this was a huge play. This was uh they're 17 14, it's fourth and two. They could have kicked the field goal with a minute. There's like a minute 20 to go, and they go for it here. And our our wheel linebacker just absolutely strokes it. As you can see, I was a little hyped over there. <laughs> we were excited. I'll show you the end zone view here. So nose, two threes. You see 48. He's going to go out to that tackle. Yeah, he's getting moved. But that tackle is not getting on the linebacker. So now that frees up seven to get through. Yeah. And that's who makes the play. He triggers quick on that. That's awesome. So back backdoored it nice through that window, man. It's great. That kid was a outside backer. He played at 160 pounds last year. Jeez. Had, a, had 100 tackles. He's a uh, all-state honorable mention, man. He's coming back. He's about 175 now, so I'm hoping. And that – Crazy thing is these two are brothers, seven and twenty-three. Yeah, they're really good football players. And seven's older. Yep, yep. Seven's the older brother. Yep, little big bro is what I call him. <laughs> yep, big time play. All right, so now we're seeing pro twins back to the big beefy two hundred and eighty-pound offensive line. So you look at this and you're like, that's not a 3-4, right? <laughs> what is that? So 
what we do is you still got your reduction linebacker. He's down on your tight end. You still Your front's still a base front, but now we're going to walk down our, our field linebacker, our nickel, and now we're going to slant opposite, so we're going to be a weak call. Yeah. So anytime we give a weak call, that essentially brings our our nickel into the fit. So now he'll be the C gap player. End will now be back to the B gap. Nose will be backside or the A gap. And then our, we're still got a board drill here. And now it, all our uh, reduction linebacker does is board drill this tight end and use his hands and read off of. He essentially becomes a two gap guy. Our corner's a little tight here. I'd like him to be a little bit wider. But once again, what are we doing with 23? He's, now we're poaching the H. So yeah. if it was trips, right, he'd be backed up because he has to poach the vertical. Well, now he doesn't really have a vertical threat. You know, the H bash could, could run the vertical, but he can he can match that from seven yards because he's got to get through all this clutter to get there. So we line him up. At, he's he's at five yards right here, but uh, <laughs> that's kind of toes kid. at five. You that's know, that's six ish. Kind of kid he is, man. <laughs> kind of kid he is. But you know, it we're we got nine guys basically in the fit. Yeah. You know what do you, I mean as an offense. You know, if, if you can't throw the ball out here, good luck. And so that was kind of our that was kind of our understanding going into this game is that how we were going to play it. So it just frees up, and we're we're true that we're gap we got every gap taken care of. Now that running back's a beast. Now I ain't going to take that away from him. Great football player, two hundred pounds a man. But our so our end never gets to B gap here. We'd like to see him get all the way to that. We we tell him to touch the hip of the guard. That's kind of our aiming point for that that B gap end. Yeah, touch the hip of the guard, which he gets base. They another good play here is that ISO fold. Another one you might want to write down there, Matt. Oh, oh he's run that. I know that for sure. Oh, base out, <laughs> base out with the guard, fold the tackle up underneath. It's a good play. But our linebacker yeah. did a really good job of taking away the inside hip, and then throwing it. And there's that safety. I've that. never seen anybody fold the tackle and then take the H back and kick out with the H back. You know Very what it is. <clears throat> you know what it is. It's influence. They they're doing it to okay. influence us because they they figured we were reading H back because a lot of what they do is inside zone split or power. They run a lot of power. Um, so I think they're they were just trying to influence us there. Yeah, I've seen it. I mean, but you guys are in forties. I see it a lot more against four eyes than I do anything else. But mm -hmm. it's, it's interesting doing it. Yeah. yeah, it was a different look for sure. All right, back to the old uh, <laughs> power T. <laughs> so as you can see here, somebody get that damn ref out of the way. I know, right? So, <laughs> so we that we call him twos, but really he's an a gap player. Yeah. All right. So. His job is we want to be on the inside hip or inside shoulder of that guard, and we want to we want to blow up a gap. Essentially, these guys are in four point stances, blowing up the tackles, and then we got the same stack alignment that we spoke about earlier. And if they're too tight, or if they're if so, we got a tight end, and then they got a flanker out on the opposite side. Yeah. So this now, this safety will key that wing back if he goes vertical or if he comes out, and this side. They're playing bracket coverage. So it's just match here, our match yeah. quarter stuff. So anything, now we got 23 in the fit, which is always good. And then now you've got your more space player back here floating. So he's got anything vertical. He's got anything out. And if it's run, he's got the edge because now we don't have an edge, right? Because yeah. we're in a four. So his job is to read that wing, this linebacker, the stack linebacker is reading that wing. If you see power sweep, You've got to fill it, and he's got to set the edge. That's why we put him down tight like that. So here, there, here it is running power. So 31, he sees back go away. His eyes are going to snap to fullback. Fullback doesn't get the ball. He's going to play down the line and make the play. Pretty good rep by 31 there. Seven, he's keying fullback all the way. So he sees, set, he sees fullback. No ball, fine ball. Really simple, right? It's, I mean, it sounds so simple when you explain it like that. <laughs> but 
no trap. He's looking for trap right now. His eyes, you can see them if you don't see that ref. But he's keying that fullback, and now he's he sees he doesn't have the ball, and now they have nobody to block for him. They yeah. have nobody to block him. He does a great job of packing here, getting over the top, making a play. Four, he's keying this wing back. He sees power. He's spilling it. I'd like to see. In this situation, if he sees him go wide, he should have made the tackle. Yeah. He should have fit right now. But his job, he'd been told all week. Yeah, you told him to spill. So, I Coach, by spill, God, he was going to spill. Splat, splat, splat. <laughs> so, he's going to listen. You know, he's doing his job. And then seven was there to make the tackle. Yeah, that's one of those things, Coach. And, and just like you said, you almost want to look at the kid and be like, come on, man. Like, it's open. And then he's going to look at you and go, Coach, I spilled him. And you're going to be like, yeah, you're right. Can't get mad at you, man. You're doing exactly what I told you all week. It's just the ability to take it and translate it when something happens slightly different on a field. Yep. All right. So I'm going to hold on. All right. Another look. All right. So I just showed you the the twos and fours, right? <clears throat> the, yeah. The Rhino stack look. Well, now just another look to give the Devils formation. We got in twos, and we just called it wide. So now, instead of being in fours, we're in sevens, and we play the tight ends, and we're still stacked, same as we were before. And now, instead of board drilling the guards, now we're slanting. At this point, it's it's you're trying to guess right. Yeah. I'm just being honest. You're trying to guess right. This guy's going to get to A gap. This guy's going to get to B gap on this side. This guy's going to board drill, essentially. This guy's going to slant A gap. He's going to play hands. He's going to, the outside backers are going to play hands on the tight ends and try to rip off, make, make a play. Linebackers are keying the H backs for flow and the stack backers looking right at that quarterback. Cause now who is the, in the wing T, what would that be? That'd be your fullback. Fullback. Right? Yeah. So essentially in this formation, he is just the fullback. So now seven is just keying. The, they're just getting flow. And here they try the pop pass and we're in bracket coverage. We're all over it and they have nowhere to go. Yeah. Why well, coach like that a, looks an awful lot like a, like a variation of Georgia's tower match. Right? Yeah. They yeah. used to run against Georgia Tech. Yep. Yep. It's a lot of, you know, we're always trying to pull something to give somebody a different look, man. Cause, yeah, it's 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 <clears throat> not the same thing, but boy is it similar. Yep. So now if five really our corner's wrong, he should have been riding this cat longer cuz but he had no threat to the flats. So he's looking for flats. Now he's seen run 600 times in this game. So he's like, coach is yelling at me to crack replace. <laughs> I better crack replace. But that's what makes them so good. They yeah. get these guys coming up, crack replace, and they throw it right over their head. That's yeah. why I said the quarterback threw for 2,000 yards. <laughs> it's crazy. Off pop passes. And literally, literally. But right here, we, we got him dead to rights. So. <clears throat> Here's another look at it. So now we, just to add another wrinkle to it, um, we change the coverage up. Now instead of having the safety back here playing bracket, we essentially, so now what we did with the, the outside linebackers previously, how we had put them on the tight ends, now we put our free safety down on the tight end in the same situation, and now we're blitzing our outside linebacker tight off the edge. Um, you're just you're just trying to give them a different look. You don't want them yeah. to get comfortable in there. Um, our coverage wise, we're still good. Um, <clears throat> we got everything covered. We got our number one covered by the corner. All right, tight ends covered by the free safety that's down. They're playing uh, bracket coverage here. So anything out, 23 is going to take it. Anything vertical, five is going to take it. And their linebackers, once again, they're reading the H backs here. They see flow. They're getting to it. Downhill, fill it. And every gap's accounted for. Full speed. <laughs> As you can see, I'm very proud of coaching this team, man. They, they love to hit, they love to play football, man. Oh yeah, coach. You see it. They they just it's it's enjoyable to be around kids that love contact. And, you know. Your guys are flying down they the really hill are. and they are delivering the contact. 
Yeah. Very impressive to watch, Coach. Um, Appreciate that. I mean, they're, they're using their hands well, you know, keeping everything out in front of them. Uh, just awesome defensive play. And the great greatest part about it is we got them all coming back. <laughs> That's always a good thing. To, that is that is a great other thing. Other than my Shrek. My Shrek is gone. He'll, I'll miss him. Um, God, I got to start calling you Shrek, Matt. Why would you do that? Because I can. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's our. That's one of our looks. Now, we'll, <clears throat> we see a bunch of this, right? Double slot, wing tee. Um, yep. A lot of it. I mean, that's that's a lot of what we see. So it's it's a lot of the same same stuff we were just talking about with the linebackers. So these guys are. If we're playing a wing T and they're not H backs, we're probably keying guards. It's not it's not always guaranteed that way because the way offenses are formulated now, you see all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Um, so we, you know, every week's its own thing. And that's one thing I'll say about Coach Martin that I learned. Like when I was I coached defense my last year at Deltona, but like when we what we read is what we read. That was it. Like we, if we were a guard reading team, we were a guard reading team. If we were a back reading team, we were a back reading team. But uh, we'll go week to week and we'll make adjustments. Uh, like, hey, we're not gonna. What what good are we getting off reading the guards if the H backs taking us to the play ninety eight percent of the time? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's, it's one of those things that we kind of had to adjust as we went. But so this is our <clears throat> move move call. So we're gonna line up in our base stuff. And then we're just gonna we're gonna bump that weak side that nickel linebacker down to where now we're in a, a fifty. Now we're essentially in an underfront. Yep. It, it just becomes an underfront. So he's gonna walk down. We got every gap accounted for. Now you got twenty three out on the edge, just playing playing the edge, and everybody's flowing to it. Matt, I still see this formation in my nightmares every once in a while. Yeah. yeah I mean, the last time I saw the wing two play Camden County, I, I don't even want to discuss how many points I gave up. <laughs> yeah. This it's, is like uh, a it's... pistol version of the wing T. Yeah. No, it thank you. To be. I'm good. Yeah. Run spread. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm glad we <laughs> Offensive run. guys, if you need any advice, go run spread. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I'll show you the end zone view, kind of get a better look at, at the move. So we try to move as late as we can. So as you yeah. can see, watch his hands. Once he puts his hands together, I think it was this week when he, he brought his hands from his side in, we moved. Okay, so you guys were actually doing it off of like a some kind of action yep. from the offense, not a call yep. from somebody? Yep. I mean, the call came from the sideline, but – so it was, you know, we're moving weak, essentially. We're moving yeah, forward. no, I meant like your kids know when they hear move, they're moving yep. off the quarterback's yep. hands instead yep. of like a linebacker saying shift, shift or something yep. like that. Now, some teams you can't, you know, you're not going to be able to do that. Some yep. teams, they, they don't give you a lot of keys, but this team was pretty obvious. That quarterback was pretty predictable. Um, and as you can see here, seven's free. Seven's free as can be, man. He's got, I tell him all the time, and we play wing T, you should have 100 tackles. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at the fullback, the ball. Look, at, you're looking at fullback right now. It's taking you to buck. They run power sweep essentially is what they're running, but we're downhill. Here it is again. I'll go from the tight view. Same thing, moving weak, jet sweep. Hmm. Oh. Let me show you. You gotta see it from this angle. That's this. Is, yeah. You can see why the hitman thing comes about. But he's a safety. You know, I mean, he. When you draw that up on paper, you're not. That's your corner. You're thinking, oh, we're good. We're running. Yeah. Buck, we're running jet. It's. We got a wing on the on the corner. It's house call. But that's not a corner. He's just unaccounted for in the fit. Yeah. And you'd like that to see awesome. him take on that blocker, right? But 
some like I said before, you gotta let players be players, man. Yeah, he's savvy here, and and some guys can just do that. Some guys can just do that, and that's you know, how there's right, coach. Me. You have all those coaching points. Hey, I'd love for you to do this, yeah. but some guys are really good at just slipping that block at the last second. I'm just like, hey, man, keep keep doing what you do. And that it it it'll bite you. It'll bite you. Yep, it but will. It also will have 96 tackles and 16 TFLs, and as a freshman, so it's one of them things where you just yeah, you take the good with the bad. Yep. All right. So I've showed all run to this point. I haven't showed you waggle or anything. So when we draw up scheme against wing T, we always have a, how can we defend waggle? Yep. Because you can draw up a million different post corners, vert, soft play action, double post, all that. But if you can't defend waggle, they're going to kill you. So we, um, you know, we kind of, what we do is we tell, we're locked here with our corner, the field guy. He's locked. Our safety, our free safety is going to read this wing back. If the wing back goes in motion away from him, his eyes are going to snap to the tight end. Because what's coming? Waggle, right? Yep. They're going to play action. Coming back as well. Tight end across, run the post over the top with the wing. So we're bracket here. You got our headhunter fitting the edge. Anything out, he's got. You got your space player deep. You got your safety key in there looking for the drag, and we're locked on the other side. And our linebackers, we tell them, you play run. If you see pass and you're already at the line of scrimmage, go sack the quarterback. Just keep going, yeah. But if you're, Just keep if you're, going. If you're not, then get, get your butt back and help. So we moved weak. Play action. All right, so now his his the safety's <clears throat> eyes are on the wing. Wing's gone away. His eyes snap to tight end. Tight end runs the drag. Big hit. And even the linebacker does a great job of recovering here, yep. getting in the window. Also, the disruption of the fullback there is awesome. I think it's one of the line, outside linebacker yeah. defensive end as yep. the fullback's yeah. trying to get through. He ends up, I think, pretty much knocking the offensive tackle and, into him. And he's wrong here, to be honest, because his rule – well, this is where you get into that. When you do adjustments and you, and you put in these different calls, it changes things and they think, right? And when they start thinking, it's not always good. Yeah. But – just because he rolled down, we told him this week that if if you see fullback out, you got to take him. But this is a state champ wrestler; he is going to get after the ball. So he <laughs> he, did, he did a good job of of you know, like you said, disrupting. But he really, in all reality, he should have covered him right. Here. Yeah. He should he should have stayed because they came back later in the game and tried it again, and he did the same thing except he sacked him. So it's, <laughs> you go back to the same thing we're talking about. It's like, no, no, yes, yes, yes. You know, yeah. <laughs> rather be lucky than good coach. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it comes with it, but you know, you love, you love for him to be perfect all the time, but at the same time you like to shut teams out. And that's exactly what we did on this night. So I, I wouldn't know anything about shutouts coach. Hey, we had five <laughs> of them last year. I think four or five. Coach. I've lost two shutouts on the very last play of the game. Hey, believe it or not, I lost one last year on the last play of the game. Yeah. Believe it or not. That's what happened when you put the, you know, you get to the end and you, that's. Yep. And you got Johnny, yeah. who's a great fundraiser in at the end or something, and he just gets crushed down. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's, that's, that's one of those things where you look back at it, it's not always about that. You know, that kid might remember that. Correct. Getting, getting to play and. We didn't do that again, though. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did it twice. And that's why Matt gets to hang it over my head for the rest of my life. Yeah. All right. So here's a here's another. So you saw us move weak, right? You saw us move to an under. Now we're just going to move into our, the base shade look, the, the true over look. So now we're going to just do the same thing. Just instead of rolling him down, we stay in the stack. And now we're just moving to a shade. Three and a one. And the running buck this way at 23 again usually doesn't work. Next time I coach, I want that kid. Yeah, he's, he's pretty good. 
like I said, we got really good players here at Toombs County right now. It's, it's a blessing. I love and it. They're, and they're all back. So <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. All right, Coach. Well, let's go yeah. ahead and cut it off. I know we're about 50 minutes into it. Yeah. <laughs> got to make sure. I, I guess some of you, I don't know. Are you working tomorrow, Coach? Or are you guys on spring break? Oh, yeah. I'm working. So yeah. I'm, I love, love, love talking some ball, though. I could talk ball all night. Oh, no, so could I. I know Matt's on spring break, but he decided to somehow find a job while he was on spring break and go teach somewhere else. So that's, yeah. I guess, good for him. Hey, so Let's make that money. <laughs> Perfect. Well, Coach, we enjoyed having you tonight. Thank yeah. you. You know, you did two different segments for us, so that, that means a lot to us, and we really appreciate having you on. So, again, um, if you're if you're watching this, um, reach out to us if you have any questions. It's the Podcast at gmail.com. Follow us, like, and subscribe. YouTube, uh, we're Board Drill Podcast. On all of the social media, we're at Board Drill Pod. So follow us, like it, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, Coach, we hope to get you on some other time, maybe down the road, uh, maybe after football season, and, and talk yeah. a little more ball with you. Hey, anytime, guys. Like I said, man, I, I really appreciate you guys having me on, and um, I, I, I think it's awesome what you guys are doing. So I'm going to be keeping up, and I'll be pushing your guys' name out there as much as I can, man. Keep at it. Coach, we appreciate it. If you know anybody that wants to come on, send them our way. Will do. Will do. Appreciate you guys. Y'all have a good night. All right. You Thank too. Thank you, Coach. Yes, sir.